Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a funny jump scare maze game. All right, so I've added in two sprites into my uh, maze game project. One is a funny picture of myself looking extra goofy. Uh, this is gonna be the thing that pops out. And then the other is just a sprite that matches the backdrop color of my level. So I made it white. But um, just so you can see it for right now, I'm going to go ahead and make it purple. Okay, so there it is. It's just kind of hanging out right there. Now, what I want to do in my code for this project is I want to go to the jump scare level that I want this uh, funny thing to pop up, this funny face to pop up on. And I want this um, hidden sprite to be the exact size of a backdrop that this um, player is going to have to move over in order to get to the end of the level. So I don't want to, uh, let me go ahead and hide this. I don't want to put it like somewhere like right here where the player might move and might completely miss it. I want to put this sprite somewhere where there's no way they could um, get around this without touching this sprite. Okay, so it's in the correct location. Now I want to make sure that it is the correct color, which is the color of the backdrop. And so I'm going to fill it in with white again. Cool. So you can't even see that it's right there, but we know it's there. Okay. So now uh, in my code, now that I have this uh, jump scare right here, I want to make it so that when I press a green flag, it actually hides the sprite so we don't see it. And it goes to its current position. So we're going to hide and we're going to make it go to right here, which is still the same position. Cool. Everything's working good. And I want to add in some code that'll make it so that when it gets to this level, the final level, we're going to make it so that the sprite shows. We won't actually see it though. And then we're going to wait until, whoops, clicked on the wrong one. It touches the player. And then we're going to, um, we could make it hide if we want to, and broadcast a jump scare. Okay, so I'm going to name it Jump Scare. Okay. And I got to add in the touching the player sprite. Okay, so quick recap. I made this um, sprite. It's in this location, but it's hiding when it starts. When it switches to this final level, it's going to um, wait until it touches the player. And then what it does is it's going to broadcast the jump scare. Now, in the jump scare sprite, we're going to need to run some code for this one so that it actually shows up. We want it to start hiding. We don't want to see it. And maybe make it like a normal size or really large size, whatever. Like 150, something like that. And when we receive our jump scare message, the message that we just created, we're going to simply have this sprite show and go to the front and maybe even play like a sound or something like surprise, something I recorded. Surprise. Cool. Something like that. Okay. So now let's actually uh, see how this works. So I'm going to create a function here real quick. That's simply going to uh, switch to the next backdrop. So we can kind of cheat our way to get to the final level really quick. So I press the green flag and space and space and space. Okay. And I'm also going to cheat by making it so that my sprite goes up here from my starting position. Okay. So I can control my player. Now we know that this sprite is hiding right here, but the player might not know that it's there. So once this sprite touches, right? Surprise. Now. It makes it so that it broadcasts a message and makes the sprite appear. Cool. Whoops. So in your project, you're going to add in two different sprites. One that is a hidden one that blends in with the backdrop. And you're going to add in code like this. It's also in the quick reference guide below this video. And then you're going to add in a funny looking jump scare. A picture of yourself, maybe just making a goofy face and um, make it so that when the sprite touches it, it broadcasts a message jump scare, and which will make this thing show and maybe make a sound. This is something like surprise or I got you or blah, whatever. So have some fun with this project. Make a funny looking jump scare in your maze game. 
Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.